Hey guys, Slax and Dendi here today. Now, I know that the new Queen of Pain Arcana has just come out. Oh, Dendi, what do you think about this thing? Uh, I love it. I, f I actually feel it's uh, my favorite hero. So. Did you say it's one of your favorite heroes? Yes. Oh. And my Arcana progress is 83 out of 1000 already. Just oh saying. my god. <laughs> that just came out the other day. Jeez. Well, the uh, Queen of Pain Arcana is out, and I know what you nerds and noobs at home are thinking. You're thinking to yourselves, well, I want to go test it out. I want to play Quop, and I've never played Quop before in my life. And we're going to go and help you out with that today. Dendi, I don't play mid. I'm not good at mid. The only mid that I play is Zeus, and I buy eight clarities and just spam people. And uh, I think we should make a guide to help all these new Quops out a little bit for first-timer mids. Let's go. Let's all go. Right. Cool. Let's play some Quop. So, what should you do uh, in general as mid? Because I oh god, we're in the match. Forget it, Dendi. Oh, okay, coming, coming. All right, jumping in. Now, this is the most intense part of the match. Of course, when a new Arcana comes out, is selecting the hero first. You don't want to ban it. Be careful, everybody. Oh, we didn't even get to talk about cosmetics. Five we found a game so fast. And ban phase. Minus Quop. I actually accidentally banned the hero. I am not kidding. I was... <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> we got to abandon now, Dendi. We got to... I, I effed it up. Well, it's an unranked game, Dendi. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. 30 minutes till I can play again. Oh, no, Dendi. Oh, no. GG. <laughs> I made a terrible mistake. All right, Dendi. Well, since uh, Quop got banned out, we're gonna first practice with unfair bots just for the laning phase. Oh, wow. Nice heroes. Bristleback, Witch Doctor, Warwolf, PA. They're just bots, Dendi. Chill. <laughs> now, if I was playing a uh, regular Dota right now, I would not buy any items and I go straight for bottle and go and get the first two runes. Is that accurate? Is that good? Nope. <laughs> not at all. Okay, what would you do? I think buying bottle level 1 is not so good anymore because <laughs> there is no runes at minute 2. Oh yeah! Only runes at minute 4. That's a good so point. So basically, spending 600 gold for a little bit of region is not efficient, I feel like. Alright, so what because should the items be? Yeah, your items should be... You probably aim to get as much stats as possible, level 1. I don't know, depends on what level of game you're playing, you might get shared tangos or not. Probably you don't get shared tangos on uh, no, not at game, all. so you definitely need to buy some region yourself. <laughs> so you, you buy a tango set. Okay, tangos? And, yeah, and lots of stats. So basically it's circlet, circlet, branch, mantle of intelligence. Circlet, circlet, branch. I've never yeah. bought a circlet in my... Uh, like 10 years playing this Mantle game. Mantle of Intelligence. Mantle of Intelligence. Oh, I've never bought any of these yeah. items. Okay, stats and it is. now you're bringing all of it. Yeah. All right, what about so skill? You, you start this stats. About skill? I feel like daggers. It depends on your lineup. Yeah. If you're going for to dominate your lineup and you're going to stay against hero that is not sustainable or slow or you know that you can beat him, you know your power of your hero, you go for Blink Dagger. If you're playing against... Uh, hero who you can't beat, uh, you might go for Scream of Pain. Or if you're playing against melee heroes, you might go for Scream of Pain. Because Scream of Pain is pretty cheap and easy damage and low cooldown. It's 70 or 80 mana level 1. So it's easy for you to last hit, secure last hit with Scream. Oh! Yeah, so basically you want to make sure you last hit range creep, which is like the most important creep. Uh, on experience guys <laughs> so you can often harass enemy and kill range creep with your scream okay uh, so scream is yeah. for range creep all right now typically when i play mid i don't really care about last hits and here's my thought process dendy if i can just get the other guy out of the mid then i get all the last hits so i just focus everything on him is that is that bad is that not good it's as a mid a good uh, process attack is uh, the best defense. So basically, if you pull the guy out of your lane, obviously like you feel great. But you can do both. You can still do all the last hits, 
or try to at least aim for it and harass enemy. And Hop okay. is one of the best lane dominators in the game. It's uh, one of the strongest laners in the game. So obviously you want to abuse that. So uh, if you're going to Shadow Strike build, you often want to have Blink at level three, so you don't go for Scream. Oh, uh, so it depends on <laughs> depends on who you lane against. For example, against Varrock, I'm not even sure if you go for Shadow Strike because his hero is sustained, and that's what Pop afraid of, because uh, you can outbeat any hero without sustain, but Varrock can heal himself all the time. That's true. This is a little bit weird lineup because you're playing against bot. Uh, usually you don't get Varrock mid, but it's not a bad hero against Pop on lane. I feel like. If yeah. you think about it. The freaking bots so, countered us. This is ridiculous. Also, you need to use your courier 24-7. It should be in use. If it's staying, then you were playing already inefficient. Because you're okay. making some last hits. Also, you gain some gold from nothing. So, obviously, you bring some items. Right now, you can get more region because you're already getting low. You can aim for bottle if you want. That's yes. fine, too. Is it I know you love this item, so whatever. Is it, but is it overall, bad to get bottle? Now at uh, all, or is it okay? No, now it's okay because you have 400 gold. But if you use courier properly and you use it efficient <laughs> and you bring items all the time, then you probably aim to get some more damage or okay. some to get more vases because more vases will give you more XP, more gold, and more items. And you aim for some null talismans and uh, more vision and stuff like this. And then later you get a bottle. Well, I'm gonna do what so, you yeah. tell me to do, then. But you need to spend your resources yes. if you're aiming for bottle. And please try to last it. <laughs> I am trying to last it. I'm just not oh. good. Look okay, at that, I got one. Oh, you need two more creeps and you have your bottle. Okay. So just focus on that one. You got it. And then Shadow Strike is Varu. Yes! Nice. You one see? More. He's checking rune already. You can see, maybe rune is top. Yes, it's top. Okay, okay. Don't rush. No, 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 don't rush. He was hit first. I'm sorry. I panicked that day. I'm sorry. It's okay, fine, fine. Here, you probably don't go for Shadow Strike. You go for Scream. Scream, okay. Because you can't already dominate your lane against this Warlock. And you aim to have more damage, more lane out push, and you can farm jungle with that one. Okay, so you so, decide to go base. It's okay. It's, I'm just going base so I can gank Danny. We're gonna make this real quick. Yeah. I still got the haste rune. It's fine. Okay. Out of ten, how's the Thanks mid been so fun. far? <laughs> Do you want the truth? I want the truth, okay. Danny. Would you be upset? Do you want the learning? <laughs> I want the truth, Danny. Don't. Okay. For truth, let's say. Uh, <laughs> you don't three, have to say that. <laughs> two or three hours. A two? I, I just got a double kill. Come on, man. It, it was uh, one kill. And <laughs> Razor got it. <laughs> a two? And it's actually not really worth it. I feel like. But maybe it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. See, that's... Yeah, two, two is not bad. I mean... Out of ten? Like... Two out of ten is very bad. It's okay, very... free, free. Let it be free. <laughs> no, you don't get to change your answer. Okay, but I'm rating you as a yes. 8k player. Ah. So, so this as is... As an 8k player, it's two or three. <laughs> well, that's acceptable. I mean, there's yeah. no... I'll never because be an 8k if, player. If, uh, exactly. If you rate you to, let's say, 3k player, it's maybe eight. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Denti. <laughs> so, how often do you leave mid when you're playing a co-op? Should you be rotating a lot, or do you just sit here and get XP in levels? Uh, compared to a lot of our heroes, I think co-op can rotate a lot. Like, this hero is very mobile, it's easy to run around. Even if you use TP, you can come back to the lane pretty fast. Like, it's uh, also very easy to gank. Let's say someone is diving your tower and attacking your teammates. You can TP and do double kill or whatever. Or you connect him to other, like, long lane. You TP and one blink and you are already in range. So this hero is uh, definitely oh. Oh, no. good at rotations compared to many other heroes. Okay, bot is slapping your ass. Please don't ult me. <laughs> This is going to be a big warlock, Dendi. All right, uh, so... Ben Benjamin is happy. <laughs> what items do you buy now? We're out of the... We're pretty much out of the laning phase. It's time for me to vacate the lane, I believe. 
I, I think you buy boots, no talisman, and sticky sticks. Boots, no talisman, and stick. Oh, that's yeah, right. Pro players love stick. Okay. Don't forget. Oh, the cell! What? I, I gotta get the TP scroll, Dendy. Who knows no, what could happen? No, you TP scroll down. You TP pain. <laughs> <laughs> but Dendy, you should always have a TP scroll, no matter what. That's true, but you can bring it with courier later. So oh yeah. That was <laughs> minus 100 gold for no reason, but it's okay. But that's not true. Good. No, it was on cooldown period. I checked. Oh yes. Nope. <laughs> So whenever I play yeah. mid, I, I trip. I typically just try to pick on people. I find someone that I think when is weak. When you, if you want to rotate, what you need to do is you push your lane fast. And when you rotate, this way you don't lose anything. If I see. Oh, what a beautiful ulti. Oh my god, I feel so good. <laughs> Ooh, so this whoa. is what you should not do. We should have mid and then we should push, right? Uh, it's, well, sometimes you must do it. You have no other choice. But yeah, usually you want to... Take off the XP, clean it up, push it so enemy is busy. And mm -hmm. then you go for some move because when you do it move, enemy will already need to either sacrifice the creeps that are coming into his tower mid, right? Because he pushed. Or he will. And then he will help. Or he will just farm this creeps mid, and then he will not help uh, his teammate. So this is typically what I do when I play mid. I just. Uh, I do some stuff, I wait for a rune. do some crazy stuff. I yeah. understand. Is, is that bad? Is this okay? Uh, well, <laughs> depends on what rating car we're talking I think we gotta go back to base. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can buy magic one now. Ah, yes, very good. It's a stick, magic one, please. Oh, the wand, right? I've, I never buy that. Worthless. <laughs> now, so as a mid, should we steal the tome? Of course, of course, oh, okay. of course, we should. Correct. But usually, you want to give it to supports in most cases. Mm. So what you did right now was a little bit rude. Oh, what a beautiful! Oh, ah. Ooh, ooh. Run after him! Don't hit! Don't run! 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 Ah. So why why would you not run? No, 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 hit! 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 Yes. Oh. Easy. Why? So you can scream of pain one more brain. time. Because Easy. if you hit, oh. he will get out of range of your scream. I see. I see. And your scream deals more damage, right? That's right. Yep. Perfect. Now you can even farm jungle if you want to, but jungle. <laughs> No way! If you want, but uh, <laughs> let's not do it, yes. I never want. Bad advice, bad advice. Never hit jungle. Killing spree. Okay. Oh, why? I don't know why you pop prison, but whatever. <laughs> yes, keep chasing them. Well, you need it, Daddy. I was low on mana. You see what, for example, right now, yeah. between choosing chasing them for nothing or hitting jungle, hitting jungle would be more efficient. True. But you pressure, apply pressure on off lane. Fine, works too. You come and show him who is the boss. That's right. You can't let Bristol back get too big. Exactly. Just uh, you shut him down. And look, because we use regen, I can take some tower hits, right? That's great. Yep. What big items do you get on Coop these days? What, what's like my main goal? Oh, there is so many different builds. Mm. So it's I don't, don't even know what to advise for you. <laughs> well, let's say this game, I like... Uh, power threats into elves. I like uh, Greaves. I like Greaves? Blade, blade mail. Yeah. We're trying oh, to Greaves carry. maybe not so good because you have only CK. Oh, you actually have also Razor, so Greaves might work out too. I think the one point in Blink was a mistake, then we... No, it's fine. Uh, actually, you don't need Shadow Strike level 3 at this point already. So yeah, you could have it level 2 on Blink. But you see, because you have uh, Shell Strike level 3, you actually could hit it right now on Warlock. Oh, yep. Yeah. True. Yeah. Oh, see how sustained sustain this hero is. Yeah. That's why Coop is not happy to play against Sustain. You don't have TP, I'm just saying. Well, I but used it, Dendi. I'll buy three of them. That's what I usually do. Three so I don't forget. So, yeah. <laughs> if you want to go more like a selfish carry build, it can be Orchid. Or Orchid usually is a risky build because uh, you don't have any save. So, whenever you jump in, you can die and you need to be careful. 
if you want to be a bit more tanky, we have a lot of physical damage. You can get blade mail, which is great item for intelligent hero nowadays. Really? Very underrated. Oh. Yep. Uh, I mean, this would be I would still go for power threads with any of those. Power threads is probably one of the best items. But if you go in Greaves, you don't need power threads. You can just buy Arcane Boots. I'm well, definitely not gonna go Greaves, Deadly. Greaves is not bad quaff. because Wade can help you against Witch Doctor, they can help your team. They can drop off Warwick Fatal Bones, they can drop off Liquid Fire, they can drop off Slow from the Tiger, they can drop off uh, Okay, slow. Greaves actually sound very good. <laughs> I get oh, the it's point, fine. it's good. <laughs> L, L is doing the same thing for you, so L is also not bad in some situations. Also, grief ma Greaves you make you tank, power, and I like Greaves' blade my build, it's actually insane. There's so much armor, and suddenly PA is dealing no damage to you. You're very tanky. But I like it. you're already going for power threats, so you can go power threats into L or power threats into Orchid. I mean, that, there's no one, no rule saying we can't do Greaves and power threats. Okay, I really don't like your build now. <laughs> go for Shadow Strike. <laughs> and you're running around map like crazy, man. I got a regen, man! You're like a wild animal, like <laughs> Puma. <laughs> you know, like running around crossing the map or like B, you know B like, Yeah, like well I, I gotta get the regen, dude. It's important. Crazy, crazy. Yo, I think we're gonna get the greens anyway. With the treads. Is that wrong? No, 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 no. <laughs> Teddy, come on. Please, don't do it. <laughs> Alright, what should we be getting Just, then? Uh, yeah, you can, if you... No, if you're gonna pop blade mail, I don't know how bots work against blade mail. Maybe they are smart and they're not gonna hit you, you know, because they are bots. No, they'll but definitely hit in you. In real games, in real games, people are gonna smash the hell out of you when you pop out blade mail and they're gonna die. Yep. I love blade mail, one of my most purchased items, but mostly that's because when this people see me in a game, they just wanna, they wanna kill me. So. Yeah, now you feel me, I do the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go. You would go blade mail right now. This is when you would do it. Um, Elves or blade? I think. Oh, I forgot you could tread switch. That's the thing people can wow. do. Wow, great. Oh, oh no. What do you usually leave it on? Just like idle, like right now. Uh, when I'm fighting, it's uh, strange. Okay. When I know I might get jumped, it's strange. But if I'm fighting and I know I can't be killed, it's intelligent. Intelligence, it is? Never agility, I think. Unless you're using I think, bottom. Uh, yeah, uh, region or bottom. Okay, or here sticks. we go. Rolling up here. Uh-oh, bottom's in trouble. Do you help your teammates a lot as Quap? That's kind of your job, right? You got mobility. Of course, got of course. That's okay. your dream job. You just go and destroy them. Like, no tomorrow. And I think it's free kills for you. It's free kills. Uh, you TP to out... I don't yeah, know. Go TP to outpost. Only 10 seconds. And now... <laughs> Okay, I'm going in, Daddy. Yeah, go, 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 go crazy. Go okay, wild. Okay. Do have ulti in one second. Show them who is the boss. Okay, okay. Do... Ah! Right. It's not Scream enough. Scream at him. Yeah, Scream at him. It's just one guy. Is that nice. good? Nice. Now run out. Run out. Out of Okay, princesses. okay, okay. We're out. We're out. We're <laughs> out. Bounty, bounty coming in 20 seconds. You can prepare already to steal. Oh. Bots are not smart. Right, right, right. Stealing bounties. Quap's good at that. Get some clarities. Bring items to yourself. Oh, does Quap drink clarities too? Uh, whenever I'm playing yeah, techies, I slam clarities all day. Any heroes drink clarities. It's always nice. By the okay. way, do you get any unusual items? <laughs> <laughs> not, not usually. Well, I usually forget. And then I just oh, region, pick them up region, later. Region, region, region. I'm going, I'm going! One. Oh no. Robots no. do not take it. No, 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 do it! <laughs> we got it, we got it. Wow, that's a smart bot, actually. He's good. Okay, I'm gonna jump right in, pop in the region. No, 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 don't rush, don't rush. Oh, I, I wasn't listening, I didn't listen to Denting! I didn't listen to Denting! No! <laughs> I'm sorry, Denting! Yeah, I'm sorry, I gotta listen. I apologize. But if so we when weren't... you have heals yeah. and blink level 4, you jump in, you fight a bit, then you heal yourself in that scenario, and then you can jump again. Oopsie. Wow. I don't, I don't know why I did that blink. Don't max shadow, shadow strike. I think there is no special guide for any hero 
to how you need to play. Because you're always adapting to a game, you always adapt to a situation. And that's what you need to aim for. Everything can work in Dota, that's why this game is beautiful, there is no rules. So basically, if you think you need this Shadow Strike, you go for it. But obviously you have not enough knowledge because you don't play this hero too much. So, so it's if anything hard for can you work, to make analyze. True. If anything can work, then uh, why wouldn't you let me get the uh, the Guardian Greaves and the Treads? I always forget to scream when I jump in. Easy. And now two supports, two supports is yours. Destroy them. Easy, easy. You don't need to believe, but it's okay. You show them who is the boss here. You can keep chasing. Now you can blink. Oh, yeah, yes. I forgot good. I had to blink. Blink some man. Go down, go stickies. Die. Show him who is the boss. Wow, you actually use net. That's beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, Dendy. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I will ignore your email. That was some sweet play, right? Here. <laughs> One thing I do want to stress I never see quaps with like Yules like what we have and ways to escape. Only good quaps do I see you. Even if you're dominating, you should always have some way to survive. Would you agree with that? Do you ever just not do any of that and go full in on damage? Uh, absolutely, yes. Going full in on, all in on damage is fine if you're sure you can not die. I think. There is no reason to risk too hard in the game if there is a chance you can die because it's just not uh, efficient when you buy damage items. What if you like? But if you survive in with defensive, some one defensive item, whatever, make you survive, then you have you in the end you're gonna have more items than you would have with damage items, at bigger level True. and more impact. Beautiful. I can see. Okay, from two or three out of ten, your score is increasing to. Eight. At, on, on a 8k MMR level? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Dendi, one of my last questions for you. When should you not play Quap mid? What hero do you see and say, okay, not a Quap game, bad Quap game? What is your okay. number one hero that will mess you up? Uh, killing spree. You can play almost against all heroes, but there are some heroes that you don't usually want to play Cop. Let's say Viper, you don't want to play Cop. Yeah, you can. You ignore skin in Shadow Strike, ignore uh, dropping Shadow Strike into him if you go Corrosive skin in priority, but it's uh, still a hero who's gonna dominate you and Cop doesn't feel good being dominated on lane. Cop wants to dominate the lane yourself because if you're getting dominated, you don't snowball. It's pretty hard to farm with Cop. It's farming with heals. Usually, yeah, you can spam your scheme of pain, but it's not so fast or efficient compared to other heroes. And for example, sustained heroes like DK can be very problem for Quop also because you can't out harass him when he's going for passive and skilling it up. And uh, so then maybe some heroes like TA, but only if TA is very very good player because uh, it's the same story. You can't out harass TA if you harass you back. Okay, so no TA, no Viper. Seems like anybody that just does a massive no amount Viper, of No Viper, no DK. No Viper, no DK, let's say. Okay, DK. Yeah. Interesting on DK. Uh, Puck is also uh, counter to Quop, but also very skill based lineup. Yeah, it makes sense for DK because he has so much regen, so I get like Shadow Strikes are kind of yeah. worthless. Quop doesn't like sustained heroes, it's uh, not fun for him to lane. So always sustain heroes for your good units. Nice. Right, well, this looks like it's wrap it up real quick. <laughs> there we go. Piece of cake. First wow. through the sustain. No problem. All right. Easter bot. Oh, what's what do you get on the 25? What's the big one? Uh, fear, fear. You no, already eight. messed up few talents. So <laughs> what do you mean I messed up? These are great. Life steal, cooldown uh, reduction. Level 10. You. Most cases going for strength, I think, because going for damage. Well, sometimes you do, but it's a bit risky. Maybe with builds like this, you can go for damage with blade mail. But overall, you're going for strength. So level 15, usually you're going for attack speed. But if you have a caster build, you're going for cooldown reductions. I mean, with blade mail and L cooldown reduction is okay. 
but uh, it just depends how you want to scale later because you can still right put people down in mm. some situations and be strong. Uh, to level 25, but in some situations you just want to be faster. So when cooldown reduction is of course better. Low 20, obviously you go for Shadow Strike. I don't think that Spell Life still is good honestly in any... <laughs> Wait, am I... it heals? It, it, it's pretty low, it's 25% only. <laughs> and I think it's a very rare situation where it can be used uh, better than Shadow Strike. Shadow Strike is just too broken. How you Shadow Strike allows you to make too many things in the game. And very go. easy to use. Guys, look at that! 25, I think, Radiant. yeah. I, think, Boom. I also see very rare situations where you go for linking. In 95, 97% you will go for screen uh, fear because it's just uh, way too strong. There you go, gentlemen. Follow my guide with Dendy's help and you too will go 17 and 2. Even this piece of cake, certainly not because of the, uh, the terrible bots, but I think we learned a lot. All right, so I'm going to sum up here at the end of our great co-op victory. In the beginning, you want to get stats if you're going to go in the mid. Don't, stats, regen, make sure that donkey is always moving back and forth. You want to spam the enemy with your magical damage and hope that they're not a regen hero. Then you want to try to leave mid and help out your teammates, dominate the lane, but make sure that your lane is pushing first. And then, after that, laning phase, you can do whatever you want. If you have to be a damage guy, you can be a damage guy. If you have to be a right clicker, you can be a right clicker. You could even get Greaves and Blade Mail and be a, uh, a sustainable hero. Is there anything that I missed? you can buy Rapier first item. No, don't buy <laughs> Rapier first item. Then every show we do, Dendi recommends this. Don't do it. All right. Well, I think that will wrap it up. So best of luck to you guys out there. New co-op players ruining games with your Arcana. Well, you won't ruin them now, because you know everything you need to know. Thank you, Dendi, for your intense skills. Bye.